His Daughter's Biography Vincent Price, A Daughter's Biography, 1999, details Price's early anti-Semitism and initial admiration for Adolf Hitler. According to his daughter, when he went to Germany and Austria as a young man, he was struck by a lot of things going on during the Weimar Republic and the disillusion of the Empire. So when Hitler came into power, instead of seeing him as a dangerous force, he was sort of swept up in this whole idea that Hitler was going to bring German pride back. However, Price became a liberal after becoming friends with New York intellectuals such as Dorothy Parker and Lillian Hellman in the 1930s, so much so that he was grey-listed under McCarthyism in the 1950s, for having been a pre-war premature anti-Nazi, and after being unable to find work for a year, agreed to requests by the FBI that he sign a secret oath to save his career. His daughter said that her father became so liberal that one of my brother's earliest memories is when Franklin Roosevelt's death was announced, my father fell backwards off the sofa sobbing. Price denounced racial and religious prejudice as a form of poison at the end of an episode of The Saint, which aired on NBC Radio on July 30, 1950, claiming that Americans must actively fight against it because racial and religious prejudice within the United States fuels support for the nation's enemies. He was later appointed to the Indian Arts and Crafts Board under the Dwight D. Eisenhower administration, he called the appointment kind of a surprise, since I am a Democrat. <laughs>